In today's video, we're going to be busting 18 islands myths, starting with... How fast can you actually go inside of Roblox Island? So in order to actually go ahead and test this, we're gonna actually go ahead and place a obby flag here, and an obby finish flag over here, and then we're gonna go ahead and go all the way to the end, get chili peppers, sweet rice desserts, fortune cookies, and potato duck egg scrambles. And now we're gonna go in 3, 2, 1, and we're gonna rack in a timer of 4 seconds. So this would be myth confirmed. You can go really fast in islands. But for this next one, we're gonna see if you have speed effects. Can you go faster in water? And it looks like this one is confirmed. You can go faster in water if you have speed multipliers. Probably a lot of you guys know about the respawn block. How if you go ahead and touch it, you will respawn. But now if we go ahead and walk over it with a horse, will we respawn? And that is myth busted. But is that to say with the exact same thing with the mount? Now, will my witch's room go straight over it or will I respawn? Now, I respawned, so that is myth busted. But now we've got a glass pane wall here. And can we actually, with a lot of speed, run straight through it? So let's go, 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 go. And that's myth busted. Now, can you actually be launched out of the cannon while being in water? So if we go ahead and hop in the water, we can go ahead and click F and let's see if we get launched. And it looks like we do, but we don't go very far at all. So this is myth busted. But for the next one, will we actually go further? There's line blocks underneath the cannon. So if we just go ahead and start bouncing, hold shift, and then press F, we go all the way to 27 blocks. But now if we go ahead and remove all of the slime blocks, and place the cannon back where it's supposed to be and then click F and we only go to around 11 blocks So you're definitely gonna go further with slime blocks myth confirmed So we already know that you can go to 11 blocks without anything on a cannon But now if we eat a mooncake will we go further? Go ahead and stand right here We actually go ahead and go the exact same as you didn't have the mooncake myth busted but for the next one, does the pink slime block jump you higher than 20 blocks? So it looks like this is the highest you can go by jumping on a pink slime block. But now, how we're gonna go ahead and test this is we're gonna mine this whole pillar and see how high that actually is. So it looks like while bouncing on a pink slime block, you go up 22 blocks high. So that is myth confirmed. You can go higher than 20 blocks. But now we're gonna see and test if the opal pickaxe is the exact same as the void manok by mining this ruby block. So if we go ahead and mine this ruby block with the opal pickaxe, it takes 7 hits. But then if we go ahead and use our void manok, it takes 7 hits. But it looks like they are the exact same. So myth confirmed. Now for this next one, can you actually sometimes hang off blocks while on the broom? So if we go ahead and jump up here, we should be able to hang off the block. And as you can see, we are hanging straight off the block on mid-air. So this is myth confirmed. Now do mooncakes actually make you bounce higher on slime blocks? So let's test this. So let's go eat a mooncake and see what happens. So it looks like it actually does not affect anything, since the slime block can normally go all the way up to there. So this is actually busted. For this next one, I have to be all the way at the world height. And now, let's see if we can actually exceed the height limit. So let's test this. Maybe water can go above? No, no, it's just flowing down. But it looks like you can't really do anything above this point, so I, I don't think we can really exceed it. But, so we're kind of already exceeding it, if, but we can't really place blocks, so... I would say this is myth busted. <laughs> now, can you actually place water in lava? So if you go ahead and place lava, can we go ahead and place water in lit? Oh my god, we can place water in lava! What on earth is this logic? Well, myth confirmed, you can place water in lava and lava in water. Now, do the new dungeon chest hold more than the open treasure chest? Well, let's find out. So if we go ahead and put max in here, we can only hold up to 540 blocks. But then we can go into the dungeon one, and we can hold up to 540. So that is myth busted. And now for the next one, I'm gonna go into hardcore mode. And now we have to head our way to Slime Island. And then this myth is, can you actually go into the new game mode? It looks like it's queuing up, but let's see if we can actually get teleported. But yeah, it looks like you can actually load into the game mode. Oh my goodness, they do so much damage. But then for the next one, it's actually for this dungeon. Can we actually get outside of the map? So we're gonna try and find it out in this open area here. But I'm not sure if this is gonna be possible or not. 
Okay, so they've just opened the door. Now let's see if we can actually get out of here somehow. But yeah, it definitely looks like we could get out, but there's an invisible barrier, so... Wait, I think I just got around it. You can actually get out of the dungeon map. But you should be able to just go anywhere you want now and explore the actual dungeon mines above. So if you go ahead and jump straight up here, in this little gap, you can actually get on top. And now I'm actually on top. So it's right in this little gap right here. Where we'll probably get patched very soon. And then we have one more myth to bust. Can we get 100 likes on this video? If we can, I will do a part two. And then that leaves it with myths confirmed. <laughs>